Okay guys, uh, I figured this would be a great time to make uh, a video for those of you that are out there that are contemplating, uh, do I just go with the mechanical fan with the shroud or if you go with an electric fan on one of these classic Mustangs. Uh, so I had originally had this electric fan on mine with a two row champion radiator. Uh, I think the CFMs on that, it's like 1604. I had it on one of the uh, experts at one of the shops uh, that deals with Mustangs here said, oh, well, you know, you're gonna be better off with the mechanical fan. And everything was good and dandy until out here in Arizona when it started hitting 110, 114. The car did not like sitting at a stoplight. Uh, you know, temperature gauge was going up, uh, you know, 220, 230. So what I did is I pulled the thermostat out and it had a 180 in it. It normally runs like a 192, 195. And I decided to go ahead and go with one of these Mr. Gas gaskets, high performance. This is the 180 right here. And it kind of looks like this. It's a little bit different looking than your normal, I guess, stock looking thermostat. This is a 195 that I can put in if I, you know, if I decide to do so. These are about 20 bucks. So when I put this thermostat in yesterday, it did help, and but still sitting, it was still wanting to creep up to about 220. So, uh, and I took it out for a drive, and everything, you know, it, it, it cooled down, and you know, it, it's drivable. But I figured this would be a great, great time to test out if that electric fan is going to be better than the me mechanical fan. Now, I'm pretty much limited in space between my two-core radiator and the nub of the water pump, which is, yeah, right back in there. I already took about a half inch off that, so I know I've got enough clearance to put that electrical fan in. So I figured, all right, well, a few bolts. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, put the electrical one back in, start it up, take it for a drive. It's going to be 110 today, and I'm going to see if that's actually better than this. Now this is a 5.0 out of an 89 Mustang. <clears throat> so it's got the reverse rotation. So if you do decide to go with the mechanical and you're running a 5.0, make sure you get your rotation correct because the fan is very specific whether it's a regular rotation or a reverse rotation. So if you put a regular fan on a reverse rotation, you're going to overheat your car so make sure that you make you know that determination that you're getting the right fan on the car now i'm kind of you know they make a uh, scott drake makes a, a fan for this a fiberglass one it's like a hundred bucks it's three inch it will encapsulate the whole fan right here because you can see this giant gap right here and right here so that's gonna really diminish you know it able to get rid of the heat repel the heat out of there as you're driving around or sitting at a stoplight so i can fabricate one or i can spend a hundred dollars to actually you know get one that may or may not help now this mechanical fan right now is sitting about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters away from the radiator it should be probably about an inch so i could get another spacer which i don't know if you can see right there that spacer and i could pull that fan a little bit closer <coughs> to that radi radiator is that going to help uh you know i don't know that's a situation that i i might address but i figured since it's only four bolts for the shroud four bolts for the fan and I've already got this thing wired up, which I don't know if you can see down there. Let me get my flashlight. But I already had this electrical fan on this car. So I've already got, you can see the wire right down there. 
and the relay and everything, this is already wired up, so this is just going to be a plug and play with that electrical fan. All you got to do is hook it up, plug it back in, and it's good to go. Now, this relay that I have on this, if you go to the SPAL fan site, which is the type of fan this is right here, uh, I think this is a 15... 13 or 1510 or something like that. It's a 16 inch fan uh, But this relay connects into either a 185 Or a 195 which you can't really see but there's wire that that goes into this radiator That tells the temperature that that fans gonna kick on and I know mine's a 185 because I just remember it from when I actually put it in the car before. But they do make the relays to where you can set it up to either the 190 or the 180 or the 195. So I've got both thermostats depending on what I want to do. Out here in Arizona, I went ahead and went with the 180 just so I can get it to run a little bit cool, cooler. Because even out driving around, this car is going to get up probably to 190 to 210 just because it's so hot, it's 110 outside. So, you know, the, the car is gonna run hot. Now during the winter, if I wanna put this in, I can put this in, it might run in a little bit better during the winter months. But out here in Arizona, it doesn't really get that cold to where I have to really worry about that. But I have it if I need it. Now they say putting the 180 thermostat in it, it's gonna make, potentially make your car run a little bit richer. You know, I don't know the ins and outs of that. I know that when my car is running with the 180, you know, you can definitely smell the exhaust. Supposedly the 195, you know, will lean lean things out so it'll run a little bit leaner. <clears throat> I don't know the ins, ins and outs of that. And I'm not, you know, gonna go into that any further. So uh, with uh, that, this will be part one you know i already kind of know where everything sits on this i can go in here and show you on my gauge real quick before i end this part one now here's my dakota digital right here so you can see there's 180 there's 220. so when i'm out driving around it's probably running about 190 195. when i start sitting it starts pushing up here to this 220 and I've even had it the other day when I was coming home from work because I decided to drive it to work to show show the car off a little bit it was up over this 220 probably pushing 230 of course I shut it down everything's good no water in the oil so you know head gaskets fine so I'm gonna put this electrical fan on and see if I can get this ideally to run between 190 and 210 is exactly where I would like to be and feel comfortable. So if I put the electric fan on and I take it out today and drive it around for a half hour to an hour, you know, with the temperatures being 110 today, if it gets it in the range that I want, then, you know, we'll have to vote for the electrical fan. But right now, we're gonna keep an open mind and uh, put this car to a little test. And uh, I hope this will uh, be beneficial to y'all.